Uh, the sun is technically still, it's, it's an air, it's part of the air elements as far as I'm concerned. But in this sense, it's more like, um, your breath is more like pranayama. It's the oxygen your body needs. You need to be able to breathe in correctly through your nose. Now this energy is, I get, once it gets, it's strange, but anyways, kind of hard to describe, but it would be the same way how the, the tree breathes in. Uh, carbon dioxide and exhales oxygen we breathe in oxygen we exhale carbon dioxide but this is etheric energy this is the energy we don't see that we get and this is why when you start doing this spiritual practice by visualizing the energy that's not there well now people have done this in the past and trained at it and you know they must have felt pretty fucking crazy the first few times realizing that like, i'm supposed to believe there's something around me and it's going in me and then coming out of me and that's why I, I don't live as long that's why i'm not as healthy and just by putting my tongue up to the roof of my mouth that somehow stops it well yeah what have i been saying i'm supposed to breathe through your mouth but anyways so whatever this prana this chi this key kigon this is where uh the, the, this practice comes from is kigon um i love kigon by the way and i put a bunch of those pdfs also attached to my my podcasts on various episodes if you look at any of them you might have to search for a little bit but any of them that say kigon in the name of them are around those episodes you're going to find the pdfs for kigon and advanced kunji and i think two more of the books from the same guy mantiak um fuck i can't I hate when i fuck up these people's names because they're so awesome they did so much for these movements and shit so um but anyways um when you put your tongue up there you stop the energy from going in your body so instead of the blue channel coming up your back and then down and then going back through you and then coming back out and then going the opposite way above so this is how it creates two channels and then you have so, then the reason why it's two channels is because now you have two multiple going you have your energy coming out and energy coming in so it takes twice as much energy just to keep you going whereas if you block that one channel from going in you and basically you what happens is when you start putting your tongue up in the air this is how i perceive it once again but when you put your tongue up against the roof of your mouth you stop that energy from going inside of you so the energy is going around your body it's going within you okay it's going it's sorry it's not going within you it's going around you and by that process uh, you're, you're you're harnessing that energy more because there's still that energy is always coming down to you because most people have to have more of it coming because you know the, it comes in and it goes out it comes in and it goes out so if you are one of the people that a couple times a day practice what you're doing and opening up these channels and this way it hits because the way fuck i'm having a hard time sorry okay so the way this works is because all these there's 12 um i guess i'll talk about the vortexes or the I don't want to call them uh, chakras in this example, but they're all, a lot of them are connected to vertebrae, meridian points of the body. So whenever you simultaneously give your chi to all these parts on your body without it having to go through your body, because when it goes through your body, it's finding the well path of least resistance, really. It's trying to get to all those spots as fast as it can, but it's the longest way by doing it that way but it has to follow a specific route you have to do a little bit of guiding probably why when you fall asleep you know when people have a seizure their tongues in the back of your throat and they say shit like that well maybe because when you do that you can feel a little bit of electricity on your tongue and you know what is a seizure well anyways but so by doing this you are getting these things to hit multiple and then by visualizing it hitting it and going it faster and faster and faster you're basically manipulating this energy that we can't see but that's there and when you start doing that process you're hitting all these centers and it's not really around your body because it is but they're like vortexes so when you get this energy to go through them because these vortexes are already kind of like spinning but whenever you start hitting this energy from the wherever it's coming from i'm not going to say the sun but it's coming from somewhere the source basically 
and this is like life energy and whenever you have that coming in uh i mean whenever it's hitting all these vortexes at once it does so much for you like i said i was doing this every day before work at one time and it was better than fucking coffee man and you know and i stand by that because it's true i'm not lying about that whatsoever it's not uh, me talking it up because i was very leery about doing this and because it was a hard thing to practice and a hard thing to, to to learn then i found that video that helped me visualize it when I added that to all the shit that I learned from books and videos and stuff like that, it all just kind of clicked one day, you know, it took a while to sink in, but that's, that's why putting your tongue at the top is important. Now, when the guy's talking about it on the, the video that's in my playlist, he tells you to put your tongue up, tap it, tap it, tap it a few times, up and down, up and down, up and down. I don't do that because I know your tongue has to be there. So I just start off the fucking video, with my tongue there the whole fucking time. And I don't know if that's what, because you want some of that energy to go inside you and stay inside you, maybe, like an inner and an outer, but that's uncharted territory, I don't really know, so who knows, but I'm sure fucking, because right now it's coming through my fucking mouth, right, if this energy is going through us all the time, so I got more than enough in there already, but anyway, so that's one of the things I start off with, once again, I, you know, I don't always visualize it going all the way down my feet, out through the earth and back up, but because technically it goes down to your root and comes back around and around and around and around. Um, but I don't know. I find it feels better when I do do that as well. So that, uh, I'll leave that up to you. Um, do your research and see what people say about that, I guess. So that's the um, microcosmic orbit. And this is the energy that's coming from your Dan, Dan Tian. I think it's how they pronounce it. D-A-N-T-I-N or T-O-N? I think it's T-I-A-N. Um, but anyways... In my perspective, even though the microcosmic orbit comes all the way down through your feet, and you know, I kind of see it go down through me, and I kind of make it make like a fucking figure eight around me, and all, I make a, I make it grandiose, baby, when I do my shit. But um, when I do that, I kind of feel like that's that's something that uh, gives uh, the energy into my my lower dantian and I mean, are speaking. So what I was trying to get out a long time ago, like fucking four videos ago, when I put on that thing, um, if I'm not in a rush to do the microcosmic orbit right away, if I'm going to bed, let's say, and I almost always do this right before bed every single night, um, before I put on a recorder, if I'm trying to put something in, which I haven't been, because uh, everything's going pretty good right now. I'm actually having a really good time during this pandemic, to be honest, but no work and I got money and I've got all the stuff I need. I'm having a good time. I'm recording video after video after video, getting to talk about occult stuff. I mean, I'm loving it. I still made a podcast once a week. Fucking, it's great. I couldn't ask for anything more. I'm so grateful to everything and everybody. Even the ones that, if they're doing this out of hate and malice and trying to depopulate, well, then great. And if they're doing it to try to force us to evolve, well, then great. I fucking, I'm grateful for them for doing this. So I have this time off. So this is a message to whoever's the evil geniuses or just the spiritual gurus that are trying to wake the fuck, wake us the fuck up by the opposite polarity. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, but anyway, so I'll put on that microcosmic, microcosmic um, thing and there's about six, seven minutes before we get to the lower Danishan, Dan, Dantian, fuck, I hate that word. Um, and, uh, you know, everything else is to try to get you in a hypnotic state, but I can do that in seconds, so I don't really need to do that. But anyways, what I'm doing is I lay down, and this one, when I do it like this, when I do the microcosmic orbit right after my ritual, this is always the one I do at night before bed. I, I lay down on the couch. I put the recorder on right from the start, or I put the video on. I, that's the one on my playlist I put it on. And then as motherfuckers talking, I'm doing my ritual in my head and that's how i practice doing my ritual in a busy setting with something chirping in my fucking ear and maybe it's the whole moon and gemini thing makes my mind always going and talking so i need some sound to drown shit out maybe i don't know i don't seem to have a problem with that anymore but it definitely used to be a problem um but yeah so I, it takes me about six to eight minutes now to do my my whole ritual you know um Kabbalistic cross uh, lower banishing, middle pillars, um, the greater banishing, um, the lesser greater, greater banishing. Um, so many other things I'm not going to mention, but um, yeah, I can fucking breeze right through it. 
So, and I mean, in my setting, I'm in my fucking, my temple, I'm fucking butt nude, naked, and fucking candles lit, incense going, offerings, I'm seeing the fucking watchers, the planets, the archangels, elements, elementals, you name it. I got a fucking party going on, buddy. And then, I fucking cancel it all out, and he's just starting to tell me to fucking bring the, the, my chi, my key, down to my sacral, if I was taking a little extra, and if not... He's at the stage where he's asking me what color it is and which way is it spinning. He leaves it up to you, which is the smartest way to do it. Because if you're trying to auto-hypnosis yourself or anything like that, when you start giving uh, absolutes, like see it going, see the blue color going left. You know what I mean? It's like, whoa, in my head it was green, it was going right. You fucking lose the person. So when you say stuff like see the chi, your key, your you allude to things and make their mind come up with the with the responses. And that's all you need to do. It's it's way more simple than people make it out. But anyways, so I think that's enough about that for today, for now. But um, oh, there's something else I wanted to say. But yeah, so that's and then that's why um, I like to do my middle pillar first because I feel like the middle pillar is how maybe that gets restored now i read the books and i know what they say about the lower and the upper uh, dantian and all that so this is just what i think people need to hear right now if to maybe help me there's certain people out there that need to start doing both but i really think the microcosmic orbit if you're going to pick one to do i think you should alternate um really but if you're because the middle pillar got me pretty far just by doing the middle pillar all the time i wouldn't be where i am right now if, I, if it wasn't for the middle pillar so i'm not going to say it the microcosmic orbit's um, more special. And I think the middle pillar is great because you're doing it in the cosmos with with your ritual. So to replace the middle pillar with the microcosmic orbit, which you're sitting down and you're watching the earth, uh, the energy flow through the earth. And you know, this guy's telling you you're in a chair in a room with like candles and all that. And it doesn't, it's not really in line necessarily with the ritual that I, I do. So I, I, I never replace the micro, the, um, never replace the middle pillar with the microcosmic orbit, okay? But when it comes to making thought forms and egregores, well, that's a whole different ball game. I still use the middle pillar during my, uh, my ritual, but then when I'm coming to bring those fuckers alive and give them fucking some, some universal cosmic energy, well, that's, that's what I'm pulling out because I'm getting more meridian centers going, more vortexes going than just the ones going up and down throughout my body. There's way more than that in your body that you can use, and it's probably essential to use. So anyways, that's a whole lot of weird information I guess I gave today, today from Microsoft, uh, Microsoft, but it all has to do with ritual. And the reason I'm going over the ritual processes and the reject, banish, deny, and I gave you the exact example of me winning the ticket, and I won, I won three times now within the same week, because today's Thursday, and I think the first ticket I bought was last Thursday. And, or Friday, yeah, no, it was Thursday, because Friday I went over to my mom's for Easter, and we're back there again Saturday, and then Sunday came around, and then I, I won again on the Saturday, and then I just won again yesterday on the Wednesday. So three times in one week, I won $7 twice and $3 another time. So that's a total of $17, which is a total of eight, baby. The infinity number, whoa, Mercury's number, whoa. The fucking, you know, the infinity symbol of, uh, we were just talking about the yin yang. It's like two eights basically in there. Well, it's like one eight there, but with the two circles there, you can make, cause there's the eight within an eight within an eight. But anyways, it's infinity. So kind of a cool number, right? For this whole teaching little fucking thing. So, and I'm telling everybody this shit because I want people to start practicing little things if you don't want to do a lottery ticket then don't do something else but keep going keep going keep going keep practicing keep getting better keep making your shit get stronger um you know if you don't want to learn from me learn from freder xavier go to his beginning of the of the his uh series and make that sigil problem is you know it's an orange ball now if you listen to me but you know it doesn't matter one of these days you'll forget that you even did the orange ball because every morning you'll probably wake up look outside see if you got an orange ball in your yard but the one day you'll just forget about it and all of a sudden it'll be there and you'll be like holy fuck the whole set it and forget it thing works and that's what i'm trying to teach with the lottery ticket lottery ticket you can win but it's very hard while you're playing a game trying to win money to forget about the fact that you manifested money and what are you going to do with the money and all that shit because it's not what are you going to do? It's, oh, I'm so grateful that I won this. And then let that go. You know, that's that's the trick. Because if you want to win money, you can by doing affirmations over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. 
but I'm pretty sure it still follows that line. It's like one of those days where you're doing your affirmations and you really don't think it's gonna work. And oh, you just kind of in the give up mode and you're kind of this shitty kind of whatever mode and you're on the grass, you're barefoot and all of a sudden your wife's like, holy fuck, this ticket that you're about to shoot out, you just won a million. You're like, what, what? Freaking out, you know, it's, that's how it works. So anyways. This is what I'm trying to teach. And the reason why, like, I wrote Magic Eyes Only and This Means War on some of these videos is because it's time to fight back. Well, we got to fight back the same way they fight us. They're using this stuff against us. It's time to use it against them, but in a way that benefits us and not in a way that hurts anybody.